So here's the cam we're going to use. Just going to double check to make sure it all fits together like it's supposed to. Nice and loose. So you also got to make sure it clears right here where they cut it away. See, Harley comes and cuts the new cases out right here. If it's an earlier case, you'd have to make sure it clears. It's a high lift client cam, see how close it gets in there. So if they didn't cut that out, we would have had to. Okay. So it's done. Put this back in the box. Okay, we're gonna do the left side Timken. So we'll put this up in a holding tool over here. Pins here for holding the flywheel. Uh oh. Hey, dummy. I'm in the wrong direction. Just testing you out. That's how it's supposed to be. Timken came with a new case. Still got to double check the fitment though. A little lube in there. It's my quick way of lubing them. Reason. So installing tool. What happens is that washer gets caught on the spline on the inside, so you loosen it and spin it to get it to free up. Once it's over, it can go straight down. Nice even press fit all the way down. Is your workout too. Case. We didn't need that, did we? I've been sitting there for a month now. Yeah, I'm up down on the floor. New spot. Don't need it anyway. Fits a carburetor. Alright, you can make sure your rods go in the hole like that. It doesn't work very good if they're not both in the slot. And not the same one either. I did that once. Didn't work very well. Most of the stuff you repeat. Stuff is oily. I don't like coming off. 
Put one over here this time. It's a holding tray for the TC. That's a little tight. So obviously that fitted bearing has the wrong washer now. Washer's too small. <coughs> Quite a bit too small. So I'm going to pull it back out, press the flywheel out of it, measure up the washer, put a thicker one in there, about three thou, I think would be a good starting point. Try it again. Alright, yeah, it's definitely tight. Alright, shut it off, get press it up.